Today we are looking at the 2015 Subaru WRX STI. This one's got the premium package on it, plus it's got the 18 inch wheels, 13 inch rotors in the front, 12.4 inch rotors in the rear, four piston calipers in the front, two piston calipers in the rear, bringing this car to a halt very quickly. We'll notice that traditional large wing that the STI is known for. You got that 2.5 liter boxer turbocharged engine producing 305 horsepower and 290 foot-pounds of torque. This is the sedan, so you see you have plenty of room in the rear to bring your kids or anyone else. You have, you'll notice that we have a six-speed manual transmission in this car, and that is the only transmission you can get in this car, which I think is superb. Digital boost gauge up top here, carbon fiber inlays, and this is the premium package, so it's very well equip, equipped. Let's hear how it sounds. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about performance. Uh, 0 to 60, you get it done in 4.8 seconds, and then your quarter mile times are about 13.2. So it's a pretty quick car. I mean, 305 horsepower, all wheel drive is going to get you off the line quickly. Um, now, I bet that's a professional driver's time, so it's going to take some skill to get that time. But just in the first, uh, you know, driving this car, the gear, the gearbox, the gear changes are real short, real crisp. It gives you a real solid feeling back, and it's it's a really nice feeling. You know, I'm only giving it half throttle, and it takes off great. I don't know if you can see the boost gauge. You know, with these things having that rally background, it just makes you want to put it in a corner, and it, it responds pretty good. I, you know, I heard that these things pushed real bad. This is actually it's doing better than I thought it would. I mean, I'm not pushing it hard enough to where I'm going to be squealing the tires, but I don't feel like it's going to give way. Oh yeah, it just, the seats are nice and bolstered, and it just holds you, it gives you a good feel. I mean, if you want a good daily driver that you can have fun with, this is, this is a great car for it. You got plenty of power, 305 horsepower, you, it just takes this road so well. I'm actually more impressed than I thought I was, and I wasn't even sport sharp. That was just the regular driving mode, and it did really well. How you would expect an STI to do it, you know, with the rally background and going diving in and out of corners, it did really well. Honestly, I, I really thought it was going to struggle. I thought it was going to be a, a push monster because that's what I've heard they are, and it wasn't. So. Acceleration is good. If you want to jump out. I mean, you don't even have to floor it. You just give it a little, a little more throttle than normal, and you got plenty of pickup. What I want to start talking about is a little bit of the background of the Impreza and the WRX. In 1992, the first WRX was debuted in Japan and Europe. 93 is when America got the Impreza and then in 94 they actually debuted the STI and entered into the World Rally Championship with Colin McRae. So going forward a little bit in 2002 is when America finally got a WRX, a true WRX with a turbo and all-wheel drive. That was with the bug-eyed body style that people say. And then, once again, two years later, like they did before, we got the STI. Now, since then, Subaru has gone through some weird things with the WRX and the STI. They did some, 2006, they did a body, body style change, and 
wasn't that great looking and then 2008 they redid the wr they did a whole upgrade they softened the suspension they tried to be more mainstream <laughs> it didn't really go well for them not not many people really liked it because the wrx and the sti have always been kind of a younger generation car people that like to have fun or hoon if you will and when they kind of went to go mainstream it just it it looked like a lot of people they said it looks like a camry what is that that's not a wrx the wrx is supposed to be sporty and um so then they they kind of addressed those things they they updated it they stiffened the suspension and in 2008 as well you could only get the sti in a in a hatchback which some people really didn't like now this one being the 2015 it's got the newer body style to it and i think it looks great um, i want to talk about how this car sounds a little bit you can hear the turbo for some reason it sounds like it's under there but you hear the turbo just whooshing when you give it a little gas um, the rumble it's got a nice little subaru rumble to it that i love i think that's a great sound i hope they never go away from it um, and it just I still can't get away from how crisp this car feels. Um, everything's really sharp feeling. You got, even though the steering's a little heavy for me, it still feels crisp. It, it's a hard thing to describe. You know, I in, was in a different car and the, the steering was lighter and crisp, but this, even being a little bit heavy, I think it gives you, makes you push a little bit more to go into the corners but it's not a bad feeling at all um, you know, in a regular every day to day driving this car is actually a lot more comfortable than I thought it would be the shifts are easy you can you know even it being a real tight gearbox and kind of a heavier feel of a clutch it actually drives pretty comfortably in a normal daily driving function you know the suspension is tight but me personally, I like that. I like a tighter, a tighter feeling suspension. I like feeling more of the road, getting more feedback from it. And honestly, it's not horrible. I expected it to be pretty sharp and crisp, but this, this isn't bad at all. You know, this could be a decent daily driver. You know, that big, incredibly big rear spoiler, I thought it would get in the way of your view and the rear view mirror, and it actually doesn't. It's so big. It almost goes up to the roof line so you don't have to worry about it constricting your view so overall if you're looking for a good daily driver that you can also autocross on the weekends i think this is a good solid choice i want to thank the guys here at dream makers for allowing me to do this review today if you need anything done to your car including your regular maintenance or any performance modifications you're wanting done window tinting or full out detail services, the guys here at DreamMakers can help you. They sell anything from like what I drove today to these high end exotics that you see here. Please contact David Smith to help you out on purchasing whatever car you see in their inventory you like. They can also help you locate any car that you're struggling to find. Let's enjoy looking at this LaFerrari and that rare one of one color 918 that they have in their inventory right now. I want to thank you guys for watching, and please remember to subscribe.